How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be rebuilding the Arizona Diamondbacks, a team in real life that is actually doing a lot better than a lot of people expected. They're kind of a team that says they're rebuilding, but yet it doesn't seem like they're rebuilding. I don't know. It's, it's a weird team, but if you guys want to see some more of me rebuilds, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought about today's video, as well as what team to do next. So let's let's talk about this diamondbacks roster because there's there are some players that i do like but there there aren't there aren't a lot so let's let's talk about it zach grank he's kind of got kind of got a big contract luckily for us it is only this year and two years afterwards he normally does pretty well so as long as he does okay we'll keep him around but um We'll have to wait and see. Robbie Ray is a player I don't like. He never does well in a sim style franchise. So he's a player that I would look to probably trade. Taiwan Walker is a player I definitely want to uh, use in this rebuild. See how he does. I haven't ever really truly like used him in a long, a long rebuild. And then Luke Weaver should be good. Maybe jo John Duplantier as well. Maybe Taylor Clark, but um, Granke and maybe Walker are really the only two that I'm like committed to right now. Same with Luke Weaver. So maybe those three, um, but I'm not really sure on the rest of them. Relief pitching wise, the main one is Archie Bradley. You guys know I do like Archie Bradley. Andrew Chafin sometimes does well, so we'll have to see how he does. And then Greg Holland, probably not going to be our long-term closer. So we're going to have to look for a little bit of bullpen help. Catchers wise maybe Carson Kelly in the future but for now you know these guys are okay uh first baseman Christian Walker I want to see how he does you know at 28 74 overall I could see him maybe hitting the 80s maybe being a decent power hitting first baseman uh second base we have Wilmer Flores Cattell Marte we'll see whichever one does well they're both kind of on a similar contract um about four or five million each so I mean whichever one does well we could keep the other one we could trade away Eduardo Escobar we could keep him around for a season or two, um, maybe the length of his contract. Not a bad third, third baseman. We also do have Jake Lamb. Um, I'm thinking about moving Escobar to second base and then maybe moving one of these guys, maybe Ketel Marte to uh, uh, short. Short, we have Ahmed. I really want to get Jazz Chisholm involved in the future. You know, he, he looks like a good prospect. Um, David Peralta will be our left fielder. Center field, we, we probably need some help. Gerard Dyson's maybe a season tim lacastro probably won't be that good um the best we can get him to is i think a 66 this year so who knows we'll, we'll have to wait and see and then right field again we're gonna need some help so the outfield needs to get a little bit younger there are some players i'm not really sold on so we'll have to wait and see let's go make some trades get this team a little bit younger for sure maybe add some prospects i think that's the big thing that's lacking right now is besides like chisholm a couple pitching prospects there really isn't too much to get excited about for prospects and i feel like it just needs to get it like a young a younger team we need a little bit more youth in this squad so let's make some trades i'll be right back Alrighty, so the first move we're going to be making is robbie ray and alex avila for tyler glasnow of the rays been doing really well in real life um just recently had a forearm strain so i know that put him out for a little bit but his stats look good B potential is 25 overall or 25 years old 81 overall i think this is a good pickup for us Alrighty, Souza, souza whatever it is and uh, a second baseman in vargas for nick anderson of the marlins 74 overall b potential 28 years old stats look okay um we need a bullpen arm so i think that helps us out so i think that might be it for trades for this season um usually season one i kind of want to do a you know see which players i like which players i don't like and we'll go from there so let me get the lineup rotation set up and we'll get season one started all right season one's gonna look like this we have dyson Marte, peralta jones lamb wilmer flores christian walker and then um eduardo escobar along with the catching spot we're gonna move around like second third and short a lot just because jake lamb doesn't hit lefties very well um and then we obviously want Ketel Marte to get involved as well um, so that's that's the lineup for the team. When we look at pitching rotation, we got Granky, Glass now, Walker, Weaver, and Dries, and then the bullpen of Godley, Chafin, Anderson, Bracco, Holland, Hirano, and Archie Bradley. So I'm not expecting much this season. I'd be lucky to even come close to a wild card spot. So I'll see you guys at draft day. Already looking at season one draft. Seasons season one's draft. 
Uh, we had some pretty good picks. Benito Murillo being the best one. 70 overall, 94 potential. The next one, probably going to be Jay Jordan, another closer. 68 overall with 87 potential. He looks pretty solid. Next up, we got Darren Amin or Amin. Last pick, 59 overall with 85 potential. Um, we also have Michael Oldham, 61 overall. He's got some potential as well at 84. And then we, we just had we had a good draft. Henry Saucedo's 58 overall. He's got 81 potential. Um, we got an 80 potential. Landon Matson, who's 68 overall. Um, we just we, it was just a good draft. Um, you guys can see all the picks here. It just it just went very well. So there's there's seasons season one's draft. Um, I'm really happy with the way it went. Hopefully we can get some of these guys involved in the rebuild. Already season one finished 78 and 84. Clearly not good enough for the playoffs. Um, league leaders wise, we had Gerard Dyson with the most stolen bases. Um, you guys can see here 14 games out in the West and in the wild card, we finished nine games behind. So let's take a look at the team, see how everything went. Zach Granke finished with a 314 ERA, 16 and nine record, 1.1 whip, like solid. That's what he's supposed to be our ace. He looks pretty good. Tyler Glass now ERA is very high. Holy cow. That's worrisome. Tywin Walker did pretty well. Um, whips a little high, but you know what? We can work around that. Weavers whips high. ERA is kind of high. And then Matt Andrees didn't do too bad. So we're definitely going to have to watch the starters. Hopefully they start to develop a little bit more. Zach Godley did pretty well. Um, on, under a three ERA, his whip was about 1.25. Okay. We might bring him back for sure. Andrew Chafin's going up. His potential's gone up as well. So he's definitely a player I want to keep around. Nick Anderson. We'll definitely keep an eye on him. Um, the ERA is not horrible. Um, Brocco's ERA is high. Whip's high. Holland did very well. Um, he is going down, though, probably based on his age. And the fact that the team wasn't amazing. That probably doesn't help. But um, probably won't bring him back. Hirano's going to be decreasing in rating, too. So even though he did well, we probably won't bring him back. And then Archie Bradley's potential has gone down, unfortunately. So we'll definitely keep an eye on that. So take a look at the lineup. Gerard Dyson's not coming back, so we're not going to pay attention to that. Cattell Marte's potential and overall has gone up, so maybe we move him to center field. That way we don't have to worry about getting a new center fielder in and maybe just get a, a shortstop instead. I guess it all depends on what free agents are available. D David Peralta struggled this season. Christian Walker hit 275. Okay. 23 home runs. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like that. Um, Jake Lamb. 17 home runs. Um, obviously, he didn't play a lot compared to... Oh, actually, he kind of played a fair amount of games. Uh, backed out, of course. Uh, Wilmer Flores. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Adam Jones. Probably not a player I'm going to bring back just based on his age, unfortunately. Eduardo Escobar is going up, which is a good thing to see. 27 homers, 70 RBIs. Okay. And then Carson Kelly went up a little bit as well. Um, but catchers, catchers are kind of difficult to judge. Looking at the bench... Eh. Um, any of our prospects do well. Duplantier is up to a 72. All right. Um, Varsho, 65. Pavin Smith, 65. Leba, 65. Chisholm is 66. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right. So it's, it's okay. It's okay. We got some growth. But um, we definitely still have a lot of room to grow in terms of the team. A lot of players we need to replace and get better did that say the Mets won the World Series okay arbitration wise let's take a look here I think everyone's gonna get it um maybe not like these low guys yeah probably not like any of the low guys that are bad <laughs> um contracts let's take Hirano won't get one but I feel like everybody else should get one. Again, if it's like a low-rated player with low potential, I usually don't bring them back. But for the most part, th that's the contracts and arbitration we're looking at. Alrighty, so I accidentally forgot to record my voice. Like, I muted my mic when I was doing this. Uh, so we acquired Domingo Herman for Jimmy Sherfi, who was like 50 or was like 68 overall with B potential. Shipley was about the same, but he had A potential, but he was like 29 years old. And then Matt Andres was about 77 overall, and uh, he was in his 30s. So we acquired Herman because we needed, I felt like we needed to get a little bit younger in the starting position, or uh, the starting starting pitcher position. 
And then really quickly, this is what we're looking at for uh, acquisitions through free agency. James Pazos, I waited till the season started to pick him up. Um, we signed him for a million over the next three years. Greg Allen, we picked up in free agency. He's going to sit in AAA for at least this season. Um, but I really wasn't impressed with the free agency class this offseason just because I felt like they were either too old to kind of enter and help us win or and like kind of stick around for a few seasons or they just they just weren't a good enough rating to really help us so you guys can see um our players some of our draft picks um this was a new guy that was in free agency 18 year old 74 overall um, might as well give him a shot and then the other player jay jordan was a uh, draft pick tyler austin we're picking him up we well we picked him up uh for a couple seasons we're gonna try him out in one of the corner outfield spots um and then there was one more player did i not show him where's uh Oh yeah, I think I did. Mario, he's our like our best, our best pick. Um, but for the most part, this is our team. We're I'm at a point where I don't want to invest too much in some big name free agents or big name trades because I don't want to trade away too many of our good players. I know we don't have a lot of good players, but I don't want to trade away some of the players with potential just yet because I don't want to. I don't want. I just don't want to trade away too much. Um, we're still kind of at a phase where we need a lot of work. So I don't want to trade away too many good players just to try to win for a season or two. I want to try to I want to try to at least make three, four, and five um, seasons, three, four, and five like really good. So I'm think I'm thinking this season we're gonna bite the bullet. We're just gonna be still kind of bad. You guys can see Armand when we traded for him, um, and then just just let the young guys develop some more. Let the old guys kind of slowly decline. We can let them go. Let their contracts run out, and then we can really make a push. You know, season three. And if not season three, and we're still kind of in that rebuilding phase, maybe four or five for sure. Because this team, they didn't really have a lot of prospects that had any trade value to begin with. So we're kind of just taking what we got and just kind of winging it at this point. Because um, the, a lot of old players. So that's why I'm trying to get a little bit younger. So we'll see how this season goes. And uh, catch you guys at draft day. Seasons two, season two's draft went really well as... Um, just went really well jim goodrich 69 overall um 88 potential he was our first pick next pick doug torres 69 overall 87 potential whoo we're looking good um our four i think it was just, this was our third round pick antonio francisco he's 72 overall um with the 83 potential so looks really good elijah olsen 71 overall 87 potential and then johnny rivera 71 overall 89 potential. I think our first two seasons drafts have been amazing. Uh, it looks like we got some really good prospects to look out for. We got those two closers. We got a couple of shortstops, a first baseman in season one. This year, we got a center fielder, a shortstop, a starting pitcher or two. Like, we look really good. I like our pick so far. Season two sees us finishing 75 and 87. So, very close to what we did last year. Um, when you look at the team, Cantel Marte didn't do as well. But he's still continuing to grow, which is good to see. Um, so I'm not going to complain. Um, his average went down. His on-base percentage went down. His home runs and RBIs went up, though. His hits went up. Um, he also played a little bit more. So that's that's good. That's what I want to see. I want to see him improve. Eduardo Escobar had another very solid season. Home runs and RBIs went down, but he also moved up in the lineup. Um, so obviously, he wasn't getting as many opportunities. Peralta had a lot better year than he did last year. More home runs, more RBIs, more hits. It, he looked really good. Um, Tyler Austin. For a corner outfielder, has actually helped us out a lot. You know, good average, good on base percentage, good home run and uh, RBI numbers. Jake Lamb, not a bad year either. Pretty similar to last year. He just brought in more runs in terms of RBIs. Wilmer Flores is still doing very well. Um, I'm, you know, almost 30 home runs. That is solid to see. Average on base percentage and stuff was almost identical, but um, he's looking like a very solid second baseman for us. Christian Walker, you know what? I'm going to give him one more year, see how he does. If not, then we'll kind of look for a new first baseman. Tim Locastro, eh, you know, whatever. And then Carson Kelly actually doesn't look too bad for a catcher. You know, he's decent, decent numbers. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about those numbers there. And then looking at our bench, I brought up Greg Allen because Blake Swihart in left field was trash. So that was basically what it came down to. Pitching rotation, um... I took a peek at the midway point. Tyler Glasnow definitely improved from last season. Outside of that, um, I was very disappointed in uh, most of the pitchers. Luke Weaver looked solid. I liked I liked those numbers. I was kind of hoping 
uh, Domingo Herman would do a little bit better. But um, you know what? You know, he's still 27, 84 overall. I think we I think we got some room to grow. I think we're gonna continue to get a little bit better. Granky's gonna decrease. We have we have him for one more year. We'll just we'll just we'll deal with it for a year uh, rather than try to trade him. The bullpen though, the bullpen besides Matt Cook, Cock, I, I, I don't know. Um, we're, was really, I think it's Cook. I think it's Matt Cook and Archie Bradley were the two standouts. Everybody else was kind of poor. Um, let's take a quick look at some of our prospects that I remember. Duplantier, 75. I think by like two more seasons, maybe four, season five, he'll be ready. Clark looks decent. Uh, Matson looks decent. Widener. Um, the other guys are kind of low. Um, I don't think we have any relief pitchers that we need to look for. The closers, though. Mario's up to a 77, which looks great. The control's the big question mark for me. I don't know how that's going to be. Jay Jordan, 67, which is awesome to see. Varsho dropped down to a C potential, which kind of sucks. Pavin Smith, 67. So we do have a, a first baseman that we could use um, if things don't go well. We could also use Tyler Austin instead of using him as a right fielder and then get a new right fielder if someone shows up. Oldham, 64. Um, Leba, 68. Salcedo, 61. Um, Chisholm, 69. I'm kind of hoping by season five he's ready to uh, play. And then when we look at the rest of the, the players, we got Christian Robinson, 66. Um, this guy went up to a B potential, um, which is awesome to see. You know, a player that we signed in free agency. Um, I guess he got called up to the majors for a bit. I don't remember when. I didn't do that. But um, I guess he got some time, maybe September call-ups. Um, but he's up to a B potential, which is awesome to see that one of our pickups made it there. So this is the playoff bracket. Let's take just get through it really quickly. Yankees defeat the Mets. So Mets back-to-back -back years in the World Series. So let's uh, let's get to contracts. All right, so the negotiations that we went with were Peralta for a year, Taiwan Walker for three years, um, it's kind of a big contract, so I'm really hoping he pans out. Wilmer Flores, two years, and then Jake Lamb for two years as well. Um, we'll, we'll have to see how they do. The rest of the guys, uh, meh, you know, meh. I'm not really, really sold on them. Let's take a quick look at free agency, see what we could um, do here. Arbitration-wise, looking at it, these two won't. I'm okay with the rest of them. And then contracts, they're all going to be young guys um, that really haven't played yet. So we'll give them contracts. Alrighty, season three, the main additions that we made to the roster were Oscar Mercado. He's kind of a utility player. He's actually going to be starting for us in center. Um, he looks okay. You know, he doesn't look too bad. Um, another player that we added was, where is he? Darius Van Buren, another player, decent overall, low potential. Um, but we'll, you, know, you never know, he could uh, always grow um in potential like uh like our right fielder did uh yumi garcia was a rule five draft we needed an extra bullpen arm after we let somebody go and then looking at our draft picks we got olsen who's gonna be in double a this year francisco who's gonna be in triple a who i'm thinking about moving to second base just because his fielding and arm strength really doesn't suit a uh shortstop and then who else do we got we got torres i, I feel like this draft was one of the best drafts we've ever had we got johnny rivera um, Goodrich as well, and Bobby Stokes. When we look at some of our other first, uh, our first year players, uh, Jay Jordan's up to a 69, Oldham's up to a 64, Mario's a 77, and that's kind of the big one. Matson, I believe, is a 71, and this is how we're gonna line up for the year. Um, our pitching rotation is looking stronger. I definitely think this is gonna be Granky's last year with the team. Um, his contract expires at the end of this year, and it's a big one. And plus. Then we can really start adding players from free agency. You guys can see the bullpen looks a little bit stronger. We added Ken Giles to the team as well on a two-year deal. I figured, you know what, just in case um, one of these one of these uh, closing prospects don't pan out, we can always um, just let Giles go after a couple seasons. We open up more uh, cap space and we should be fine. But you guys can see we have Lefebvre leading off, Mercado, Peralta, Austin, Lamb, Eduardo Escobar is going to be starting at third um, or short whenever we have the chance. Actually, yeah, we'll probably do that. And then Flores, Marte, and Carson. Um, you guys can see our bench here. Marte is on the bench, obviously, just because he doesn't hit righties as well as he does lefties. So that's why Lamb's here. But otherwise, Lamb will be on the bench. And you guys can see our bench there. So I think the team looks stronger. 
We got some younger players that should grow in potential. That's kind of the big thing we were lacking when season one started. So let's see how season three goes. We might make a trade at deadline day. I'm going to let the CPU handle the draft because we've already had two really good drafts. So let's see how things go. And I'll see you guys either at the end of the season or deadline day. Deadline day, we're making a deal. We're trading Tim LoCastro. He's actually dropped off quite a bit in rating. You guys can see he's down to a 68. Along with Silvino Bracco for uh, Alex Claudio. We need another lefty in the bullpen. Season 3 finishes with us being a postseason wildcard team. We're taking on the Padres. And uh, let's go see how uh, how the season went. League leaders, we had the most stolen bases with Oscar Mercado. Okay, so a, a recently acquired player helped us out. We have the Rookie of the Year in Darren Lefebvre. So let's take a, let's take a look. Glass now is up to an 89, which is awesome to see. Wins and losses weren't there, but ERA 3.15 is amazing to see. 1.19 whip. Okay. So it's looking like maybe we have our new ace. Zach Granke is obviously going to start to decrease, but crazy good numbers. Uh, under 3 ERA, 1.25 whip. He's still, he still pitched really well. Luke Weaver, 87 overall. Okay. He's getting better. He's definitely getting better, which is good to see. We, we should have a solid rotation going forward. Taiwan Walker. You know, his ERA about a 4, whips about a 1.2. So, you know, he's probably still going to be our 3-4 starter, but things are looking good. Domingo Herman, 3.21 ERA, 1.28 whip. So our whips are a little high, but overall, I'm liking what I'm seeing from our starting pitching staff. Um, we definitely have the players that could potentially step up. Do Plantier is one of them. And we, it looks like we have some, you know, suitable replacements going forward. When we look at the bullpen, you guys can see how things are looking here. Merrill Kelly looks like he got brought up, but I mean, when he did get brought up, he did pretty well. Um, Cook did well. Godley. Garcia, eh, not so much. Anderson, not so much as well. Claudio did well. Bradley did well. And Ken Giles was a solid closer for us. So it's looking like our, our pitching staff is solid. It, it looks like it's really set. And uh, we, don't, we don't have to make too many changes there. Darren Lefebvre was rookie of the year. You guys can see that there. I mean... Pretty solid season. 14 home runs, 56 RBIs. He's up to an 80 overall. He's looking like a decent little pickup for right field. Mercado looks like a solid center fielder as well. He hit 22 homers, almost 60 RBIs. Not bad. David Peralta. Do I bring him back for another year? I think I kind of have to, you know. He, his stats aren't bad. RB, RBI just went down a little bit, but, you know, average and stuff is still there. Tyler Austin hits the 80 mark. Um, he hits arbitration this year. I'll probably bring him back again. Uh, first base wise, he's he looks pretty good. Jake Lamb is up to an 88. Ooh, I'm kind of glad we signed him. He had a really good year as our our third base. Or yeah, he was our third baseman this year. So, oh man, he uh, he definitely is a player to keep. Eduardo Escobar is probably done. Um, he's 32. We have Jake Lamb who can play third base. We have Cattell Marte who can play second base. We have Wilmer Flores who can play second base. So I think Eduardo Escobar's time in uh, a D-backs uniform is done. Wilmer Flores has very similar numbers. Um, so it's 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 perfectly fine letting Eduardo Escobar go. Cattell Marte, average went down. That's that's disappointing. Average went down. Home runs and RBIs are you know pretty similar. But it looks like his games and at-bats were pretty... Uh, were lowered as well. Carson Kelly, yeah, his hitting stats just aren't that good. So let's we've looked at everything. Let's take a let's take a, a really quick look at the the prospects. We do have Duplantier who could step up next season. Our pitching prospects look really good. Matson, Clark, Williamson, Rivera, Widener, uh, Torres. Whew, it's it's looking it's looking good. When we look at our closers, um, Mario, the the controls the big worry for me there. We have Olson, Jordan as well um catching nobody first base we got smith and oldham second base i did say i was going to move this guy to second base he's up to a 79 so he could be potentially a player we bring up next year we have leba uh, we have salcedo so we do we do have names chisholm just isn't there yet which is unfortunate to see um let's see center field goodrich was a player we drafted his contact numbers look really good good vision um he's a player i really want to see uh, get involved and then right field. So it looks like our outfield's kind of okay. Um, same with our infield. Looks like the team overall is doing pretty solid. So let's see how this game against the the Padres goes. We lost one to eight. We got rocked, unfortunately. So that's that's our season done. 
and let's let's get into the off season season three we made the postseason which is actually a lot better than i anticipated i didn't think we were going to make it till season four but um the team's looking really good let's get into the contracts see if we got to do anything um i know it said the twins beat the the cubs so no one retired do we have any exclusive negotiations oh we have a few um definitely gonna do bradley is he gonna be our closer though we'll we'll say bullpen for now I uh, will bump him. We'll bump him up. He definitely has been pitching very well lately. David Peralta, do we do another year? Let's let's do one more year. We'll do one more year for Peralta, and then Claudio for sure is is going to get one. He's not going to be he's not going to be a closer, but you know what? For like eight million, he he's going to be a solid arm for us. Granky, no. Eduardo Escobar, no. Okay, so let's let's keep going really quickly ken giles decided to exercise his option join us again next season which is which is great that's what i wanted anyways um let's look arbitration uh i mean yeah why not every single one of them contracts uh probably not kelly but everybody else uh will get a contract that i see from here Season four, this is how we are looking. Corey Seager's the big addition at shortstop. I felt like that was our weakest spot. You guys can see a pretty big contract. Basically, we got rid of Granke's contract. We brought in Corey Seager. I think that's a pretty good trade-off. But you guys can see the team is looking pretty solid. Um, it looks a lot stronger. Christian Walker is a little on the lower end. Tyler Austin as well. But, you know... Wilmer Flores at an 80, Jake Lamb 86, Seager 94, Peralta 87, even Mercado at an 80. I really like the looks of that. So, so far I'm liking I'm liking the team that we've put together. Looking at pitching, um, I still I still think it's really strong. Obviously at the beginning of the year some players ratings go down a little bit. We also added Zach Britton as a lefty. Um, Alex Claudio went to the Cubs instead. And then we brought up Benito Murillo to kind of test him out, see how he does. Control's low, walks per nine are kind of low. So we'll see. If it doesn't go well, we can always trade him. Um, he should have a good amount of trade value. And we can always get a different bullpen arm. So overall, I like the way the team looks. I think we've definitely taken this team in the right direction. We've got it a lot younger. We've brought in a little bit better players. So at the deadline for this season, we're going to trade Greg Allen, Christian Walker, and Bo Takashi for Elvis Luciano of the Blue Jays along with Rowdy Tellez. I feel like our first baseman position isn't giving us enough production. As you can see, we won the division 91 and 71. We're taking on the Brewers. Um, let's see, league leaders. Mercado again with stolen bases and awards. We have rookie of the year for John Duplantier. So let's take a look how things went. I'm pretty sure it's back-to-back -back rookie of the years. John Duplantier, 3.18 ERA, 1.33 whip. So the whip's a little high. Wins and losses weren't there, but I mean, he's up to an 81. I'm not going to complain about that. Tyler Glass now had a phenomenal year. A sub-3 ERA, a 1.1 whip. Again, wins and losses. I'm not really worried about, you know, his his stats look really solid. If, if you have a 3 a three or under whip and a low, or a 3 or under ERA and a whip at 1.1, you're looking good. Luke Weaver, I mean, I'm not going to complain about those stats either. The whip went up a little bit and so did the ERA, but um, he's, he's, he's still been a solid pitcher. Domingo Herman. Very similar to last year. So, again, I'm not going to complain. Taiwan Walker looks like he got a little bit better from last year, which is good. You know, he's he's still improving. So, I'm, I still like our rotation. It may not be the best, but it's still it's it's getting the job done. And that's and that's good. Uh, Cook, Godly looks like maybe he's starting to fall off a little bit. He's been, like, maybe he's following a pattern. Like, four or higher ERA, then under three, then four or higher, under three, four, or, uh, maybe, maybe, who knows, but uh, Yimmy Garcia, bounce back season, which is awesome to see, same amount of innings almost, but he basically halved everything, which is awesome, Zach Britton, in his one year with us, not too bad, obviously not as good as last year, but respectable, Benito Murillo, first season in the bigs, Phew, lights out, that's good to see, the whip's kind of high, but uh, I mean, it's still good stats. Luciano only pitched four innings for us, but he's going to go up and he's going to go up very quickly. So I'm looking forward to see how that goes. Archie Bradley is nuts. Like, oh man. Ken Giles, do we bring him back? We might. We might. 
We might bring him back. We might. Uh, just to keep that one-two punch of Bradley and Giles going. So, Mercado. Okay. All right. Uh, Peralta. That was... It was probably... Oh, man. He's still doing well. He's still doing well. I don't know if we keep him, though. Corey Seager in his first year. I mean, average and stuff was down, but home runs and RBIs were about the same. Jake Lamb's still killing it. Um, I might give him one more year, uh, depending on if his stats change too much. Rowdy Tellez, really good year in terms of run production, which is awesome. Darren Lefebvre, looks like he's probably capped out at like an 80-ish right fielder, but he's he's looking pretty solid. Wilmer Flores, um, I know this was his last year. If there's a, a better second baseman available, maybe like an Antonio Francisco. We might just let Wilmer Flores walk. Tyler Austin, I mean, not bad. And Carson Kelly had his best year um, minus, well, maybe not. No, probably his second best year in terms of like average and everything. Um, Antonio Francisco, I'm kind of tempted to let take over that second base spot. Let's quickly take a look at some of these prospects. Matson's there, Rivera, Torres. So we still got those pitching prospects that look good. Um, these guys down here, maybe Jay Jordan. Could get a call up. I saw his potential was starting to decrease. Pavin Smith's a 71. Oldham's a 70. Uh, yeah, Francisco is probably going to take uh, Wilmer Flores' spot, uh, which would allow us to put money somewhere else. That's kind of the big the big draw to it. Goodrich could potentially be called up next season. Um, so we do, we do have some solid players there. So we're taking on the Brewers. Let's see how this series goes. And we're facing elimination already, which is which is not good at all. Um, but we are home for this event, or for this game, I should say. Domingo Herman. All right, so Yelich, Hiura, J.D. Martinez, Jock Peterson in center. Okay, so they're basically going power with this lineup. Holy cow, Trevor Story too. No wonder why they're, uh, they're a good team for sure. Double play, awesome. All right, so we squandered that, that chance. And... Uh, First and second for the pitcher. Unfortunately, no run scores. Mercado, no. Peralta, Seager. Mm. And JD Martinez gives them the lead one to nothing. Can we strike back? Yikes. All right. We got a guy on. One out. We'll, we'll bunt him over, put him in scoring position. But again, nothing happens. Yelich makes it a two run game. And now it is a four run game. Herman's done. We'll bring in Garcia and he gets us out of it. So we're down four. You know, we 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 gotta do something. First and second here. I mean, I think that just kinda explains how this is gonna go. I think I think our uh our season might be over unless we do something crazy. Um so we got caught stealing, which sucks. So I think unless we do something crazy here, guys, this might be it. A walk, okay. A double play. And that's that's the series. I think the the big thing was our 83 really our leadoff hitter hit 83 jake lamb didn't deliver i mean the bats went cold there um tyler glasnow didn't pitch too well it just kind of looked like everything didn't didn't really do well so just like everybody went cold like they just weren't ready for the playoffs the twins i think won back-to-back -back world series let's just get into these contracts um really push for season five because i feel like um, we have a team to do something and we, we, we got it. We got it. We got to, you know, uh, I'm, we can move Archie Bradley, maybe put Mario at the setup spot. So I'm going to let him walk. Jake lamb. We'll do a year. I mean, he's still got that power. Let's, let's do like a year there. And then if no one else is available, we'll go back for Peralta, but that that's how we're going to do it there. Um, let's 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 check out arbitration wise. Uh, I think Godley is going to be a player I let go. Pazos. So we're just going to go with these five for arbitration and contracts wise. Um, every everybody will get a contract here. Starting season five. This is a trade we're making. Jordan Alvarez, um, the right fielder from the Astros for Darren Lefave, Andrew Applin, who's 32 years old. Uh, we probably won't use them and our lowest rated player in our system francisco or fernando chavez um with that being said though i just realized i made a pretty big mistake 
we have a lot of lefties in the lineup. Um, and even on our bench, we have a lot of lefties. You guys can see we made some additions. Malik Smith being one of them. Andrew Benatendi being another. Uh, but we, we have a lot of lefties. Uh, and that's that's a little, a little worrisome. For sure. Uh, I didn't realize that we did have that many lefties in the lineup. Um, com complete oversight by me. So... I don't I don't really want to make any trades because I do like what we have in the team. Um, I just we probably need to move some things around <laughs> some things around for sure. Uh, I don't know. I I feel like maybe we just leave it. Uh, I kind of like the team as is. I know it's it's very lefty heavy, but I, I really I really like what we have um, currently. I feel like this this team. Oh, uh, Robert Giselman. Also, and Taylor Rogers is another addition. So I really like the team we have. I think it's the strongest we've had all the, throughout this entire rebuild. Yes, we do have a crazy amount of lefties in the team, but I think it'll still work out. So let's see how this season goes. Already, Christian Robinson, uh, Domingo Leba, and Tyler Austin are going to be traded for Pete Alonzo. I know we do have Rowdy Telez, but um, I feel like we need it. We we really did need a righty bat. And uh, it, it definitely it will it will help out. We we really needed that righty bat, and um, I feel like this this is this was the right move. I think I hope. Who knows? Really, to be honest, you know, with Sim style franchise, it's it's so random. So that's the team now. Now I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Season five, we made it as a wild card team, eighty nine and seventy three. We're taking on the Phillies. So let's see. Um, we had an award. Okay, let's see what the award was. Delivery Man of the Year for Archie Bradley. And uh, looking at the team, you guys can see the stats here. So Malik Smith, 279, which was better than his year before. Similar home runs and RBIs, uh, but hitting wise, he got a little bit better. Ben Attendi, not as much, not as good as I would have hoped um, in terms of average or anything, but home runs and RBIs are there. Corey Seager had a phenomenal season, uh, great year. Holy cow, that's awesome to see. Pete Alonso, okay. There we go. Best offensive season. Jake Lamb is starting to decrease a little bit. Um, still put up decent numbers. Francisco going down. Not too sure why. Um, I, that's still not a bad season at all. Um, Jordan Alvarez. A potential is going down, but he still had a phenomenal year. 24 homers, 72 RBIs. Roddy Tellez hit 280 and, you know, limited appearances, which is, I mean, not too bad at all. And Carson Kelly. Is still doing similar things to what he normally does. Yikes, our bench was bad. Our bench was very bad. Looking at the pitchers, I mean, pretty similar all the way around. I'll take it. Uh, wins and losses haven't been there, but that's not bad at all. Looking at our bullpen, some high ERAs for sure. Archie Bradley and Cook, um, along with Taylor Rogers, were kind of the big standouts. Let's take a look at our prospects. Johnny Rivera. Is up to an 80 already. Matson's a 79. Um, some of his per nines are still kind of low. What else? We got Torres. We got we got some good pitching prospects down there. Um, in the bullpen. Maybe Ben Taylor, but he's 30. We got Olsen, who's hit 80. Okay. Um, Jordan, who's a 78. Uh, we got Pavin Smith, Oldham. Salcedo. Marte's dropped. Chisholm. Can we, pull, can we bring him up? No, okay. Uh, let's see what else. Goodrich was the guy we drafted. So okay, all right. So we got we got an okay um, thing. Let's quick manage this game because it is season five. Let's see how this goes. You know, I like the team. I feel like we've put together a good team. Ooh, who do we go with? Do we go with Domingo? I think we go with Domingo. We're gonna go with Domingo going against the Phillies here. All right, so they have Alenmis Diaz is a new name. I see Joey Gallo in center. Gary Sanchez, Jesus. Okay, a lot of power for sure. Um, Got to be careful of that. Are we really just going to go like cold again like we did last time? There we go, Jake Lamb, a two-run two bomb, which is awesome. There we go. That's what we needed. Still got the lead. 
Come on. There we go. Gets out of it. That's five innings for Herman. Can he get a sixth? There we go. Okay. So we got Francisco, Alvarez, Kelly doubles. So this is perfect. Pinch hit. Uh, I want to save Tellez just in case. So let's go to... We'll go to Mercado, I guess. And they bring in Alvarez. So, all right. That's fine. So we got righty and a switch. Let's go to... Let's go to Mario. Perfect. One, two, three inning. Malik Smith. Error. Can he steal second? He does. Ben Attendi. Base. There we go. Base hit gets the run in. First and second. Oh, what? You got on? Okay. Sack fly. No. Two runs scored anyways. Perfect. That's what we needed. Carson Kelly. That's fine. All right. We have a five run lead. We'll let Mario go again. Perfect. Pinch hit. We got Nicasio. Let's bring in Goodrich. He singles. Can he steal second? He does. Perfect. Another run scores. And that should be us advancing. Seven run lead. Eight run lead. We got. Uh, we'll let Elvis Luciano come in. He shuts the door and we're taking on the Dodgers in the NLDS, a divisional rival. Okay, so let me not let Domingo <laughs> Herman pitch. We're going to put him there. We'll go to plants here. We'll do that. We'll do that. So this is this is interesting. Let's see how things go. We get the win. Ooh, here we go. We swept the Dodgers. Okay, that's all right. That's awesome. So we get. We're looking good. We're looking good. We're down two wins already. We're down two games. All right. Oh, man. We're going to get swept. I mean, I know I didn't rotate the pitching rotation, but I feel like it wouldn't have mattered because we would have been tired anyways. We're going to go let Domingo go. We got the same lineup. Looking at the Nationals, they have Merrifield. They got Duffy. Glaber Torres is new. Salvador Perez. Rizzo Gregori. This is like a brand new Nationals team. And Soto goes deep, makes it a, oh man, it's a 5-0 in the first? What? Okay. He's caught stealing, that's not good. Can we at least get one back? We get one back, so, I mean, it's a, it's 5 again, man. This might be an early game for Herman. What is going on? I can't believe it. Seven runs in four innings. Pfft. All right. Single. We're going to pinch hit. He was kind of tired. Let's go to... I just realized the pitcher hit a home run on us. Um. So there's that. So yeah, that that happened, right? That that happened. The pitcher got a home run on us, which that's that's a little disappointing to see. Um, I mean, we're down five. You know, we got a couple innings left. Can we? I mean, we're, oh man. We're I mean, we're down to our. Our last chance here. Oh my god. All right, come on, guys. We we need the runs here. First and second. No outs. Anybody, come on. Any uh, that, that's the season, ladies and gents. Uh bases loaded, two outs. We don't get anything. A triple, another run comes in, and we get absolutely smacked here. I mean, we'll bring in Tellez, see if he does something. He does it. We got destroyed. 13 to 4. Ugh. We get swept. But you know what? We made it to the NLCS. And I like the team we've put together. We'll see the Nationals ended up winning. I mean, their team looked stacked. Looking at the team, though, Smith, Benatendi, Seeger. Uh, Malix is 29. Benatendi's 28. Seeger's 28. Alonzo, 28. Um, Jake Lamb is kind of like a, a one-year deal guy until he kind of falls off. Francisco's 24, Alvarez 25, Tellez 28. This is a young team still. Uh, the pitching staff, you know, because should only get better. You probably could trade a couple players because they have some good value. Uh, get a different starter that maybe is a little bit more consistent. 
and you're looking at a very solid team you still have um some prospects down here who should develop very very quickly you got rivera who looks like he's going to be amazing you got Matson, uh clark torres you got olsen and jordan here for closers or setup people uh who else we got pavin smith oldham uh not Marte, perdomo chisholm if you can get him in the lineup somehow goodrich could be a center fielder for the future good contact not the best fielding but good speed and stuff like that so overall i like this diamondbacks team we weren't really able to get much success out of them but this team is looking nice for the future so i hope you guys enjoyed this diamondbacks rebuild if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content we're almost at 10,000 subs we're about 500 away let's hit that before the end of the month that would be awesome i'll catch you all in the next video peace